Hey folks, welcome to the Do It Yourself Dad channel. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to take one of these guys. This is our old gas stove, gas range, gas oven. And we're gonna replace it with a new one. So we're gonna show you how to hook up a new gas line the quick, easy, and safe way. So if you haven't already, give this video a great big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below. Let me know what other kind of stuff around the house you might need help with. But right now, let's get this started. Uh, so we've got our new stove here. So the first thing we're gonna do is get it out of the box and get it ready to be installed. Now the first thing you wanna do right now is you wanna unpackage all this and look at your pretty stove, but you don't wanna do that yet. You wanna get all the packaging off it, but leave this part all alone because you have material in there that's holding all the trays together. If you take it out now, it's gonna rattle around and possibly break things while you're installing it. One other thing to do before you start putting this thing in is pick up some of these feet if you've got nice hardwood floors that you don't wanna scratch up. These also make your stove easier to slide in and out later if you need to clean underneath it. So we're gonna do that now before we start moving things around. Now installing these feet is a lot easier if you have a second person to help you. So one person can rock it back and the other one can put the feet on the bottom of the stove. They are just peel and stick so they're really easy to put on. You stick them on like stickers and you're good to go. So now that we've got our new one prepared, it's time to pull the old one out. Now something to remember is this thing is hooked to the wall and it's got a gas line and an electrical line. So you've got two lines to pay attention to when you're pulling this thing away from the wall. You wanna make sure you don't snag one of those. And the other thing is just be cautious that you don't scratch up your floor as you're pulling this thing out. Now down there you can see the electrical line, that one we had to unhook to get it out, and then right here, this big one, that is the gas line, and that is the gas valve. So you wanna get in there and turn that valve. It should be a quarter turn, so you turn it to the right to shut that off. And now you wanna locate where the gas line enters the stove. And you'll notice here there's the uh, gas line and then there's usually gonna be something you can put a wrench on. If this thing is tight, you don't wanna be wrenching on this and stressing the metal around here. So you wanna get in there with a wrench and you may have to get in there with another wrench or a pair of channel locks just to support the other side here. And now with your gas line unhooked, you can get this one out of the way and start moving in the new one. So now we're behind the new stove, we're gonna hook up our gas line and you're gonna probably need an adapter or a series of adapters to get from the fitting here to the gas line. So here we've got our adapters, they're all set up. Now something I like to do, and some people will tell you it's not necessary, but I think it is, at least for safety's sake, is to use some of this pipe thread sealant. You're gonna apply it to your threads as you go around. You can use uh, tape, the plumber's tape, or you can use this stuff for gas applications. I like this stuff a little bit more. We're gonna thread that in. And then tighten it down. You wanna get this tug, but you don't wanna over tighten it. So now with that in place, we can hook up our gas line itself. And same deal with the gas line. You do wanna tighten it. You don't need to over tighten it. You want it snug, but not so tight that you're twisting this thing and damaging other parts of the stove. So now with that in place, we can turn on the gas. Before you put the stove away, you wanna turn on the gas and check it. So we're gonna turn the gas valve on. So we just turned our gas valve on. You wanna check this for leaks. And the easiest way to check this for leaks is using soapy water in a squirt bottle. So we're gonna squirt some soapy water on it and inspect it for bubbles. If we see any bubbles, we have a leak. If we don't see bubbles, we should be good to go. So we've sprayed soapy water on here. We don't see any bubbles or any leaks. So we know we're good there. So now we can clean this up, apply power to the stove and test out the burners. 
Now the first time that you light the stove, you do have to purge the gas out of the line. So it may take a little bit of time for the gas to make it all the way up. Before it lights. Now all there's left to do is test out the stove. And the best way I can think of doing that is make an egg in a hole. So I've got my daughter Kaylee here making an egg in a hole on the brand new stove. If you want to check out her channel, it's linked below. It's Kaylee's Kitchen. She has all sorts of fun recipes and she's going to show you how to make this one on her channel. So if you like this video, be sure to go down, give it a great big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and let me know what kind of things you want to see around the house. Thanks for watching.